Good morning, everybody. So, um, a couple videos back, I was telling you guys that my husband's graduation is actually today, January the 30th. Um, but I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. I have been working on this project for a little while and I know like the other day I had recorded a video and I was telling y'all about um I was trying to do a video shoot and stuff and everything was going wrong that day but I still wound up that evening I still wound up on um, doing a video shoot and like the dude sent me the clip talking about fire I like it like I feel like y'all gonna like it you know and I hope that they could help my channel and I hope you guys find it interesting and like you could get some like ideas of outfits that you could wear to visit and stuff like that but I think it's real cute and I think y'all gonna like it or whatever but yeah so I'm just getting ready um to Go see my husband for his graduation. I have to be at the jail for no later than one o'clock because the graduation start for one. But I'm trying to get there for like twelve so I can get a good seat because I'm gonna start being a front. You know, so it's uh eight o'clock. So I'm probably gonna get on a roll no later than ten o'clock. I want to get on a roll for nine thirty, but. We all know that I'm slow. So, 10 o'clock it is. I'm just getting ready for the graduation. Graduation. And I'm excited. So, San Diego, and I put a couple of the dollars on the phone. I'm going to talk to my husband or whatever and just see how he's doing, blah, blah, blah. Why this fool going to tell me? When he was filling out the paper for the graduation, he only put my name on the paper. He didn't even read the paper. He said he just put my name on the paper and turned it in because he didn't think that he had to put my son's name on the paper because he a minor. Well, child, they got to the graduation meeting and the lady said, whoever coming to the graduation name have to be on your list. Even if it's a minor. So at this point now, it's a couple of days, like two or three days before. No, I'm not. That was Friday. So it was a couple of days, you know, before the um, graduation. And he finds out that my baby can't go to the graduation. So now my baby have been telling all his friends that he going to this graduation and all this. And now he done found out that he ain't going to be able to go. But the lady was like one of the other inmates that was there, um, one of the family members not coming to the graduation. So she was going to try her best to get my baby, um, you know, name on this or whatever. So at that point, that was Sunday. So I was telling him if she can't um, get his name on the list or whatever, then you're going to have to be the one to tell him if he can't go to the graduation. So he was like, well, he was going to see the lady Monday because they had to say graduation pictures and this and that. So he was like, when he was at the graduate, um, while he was taking the graduation pictures, he was going to ask the you know, if she got his name on the list. I told him, huh, if his name not on the list, you won't be the one to tell him. And he was like, no, I can't tell him and this and that. Well, I don't know because I am not telling him because he have been looking forward to this day for so long. <laughs> He was saying that um the lady told him that she got his name on the list and this and that so it should be alright. So when I go up there today we should be able to get on with no problem. If there is a problem, I said I was just gonna let my son go to the graduation and I just sit out. But I'm going to try to let him go and take my spot. Then, you know, mess up. But he said everything should work out, so it should be good. My subscribe.
subscribers count have gone up a lot. Um, I'm almost to my dollars and I'm at like 870, like almost close to 900. So I think for sure by February 20th, I'll be at a thousand subscribers on my channel, which is excellent. It's just the full thousand hours of watch time views that's difficult. But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, and even if I don't get to the 4,000, you know, by February 20th, I mean, I'm not going to stop. That's not going to make me stop. I have come to the conclusion, like, I didn't came this far, then I might as well just keep going. So, I'm not going to let that stop me. And so many people be hitting me up and just telling them, like, telling me how my story you know um <clears throat> how my story encourages them and they can relate to where i'm coming from and stuff like that because you know they dealing with a similar situation as me so i'm glad that my story can encourage other people out there who may be going through something that i you know have experienced and you know I want to help other people. I want to be that type of person who is willing to share their experience to help somebody else who may be going through the same thing. But it's crazy. Like a month ago, I was telling y'all about my husband's graduation. And today is actually the day, like the day of the graduation. I need to hurry up. I want to be out the door by 10 o'clock. <clears throat> but, um, I'm excited about what I see my husband. <clears throat> I ain't seen him in a good little minute. I haven't been out there. I've just been chilling lately. Trying to get my stuff together for this video shoot. I'm glad that I finally was able to do that and just be done with it. I was kind of sad because I didn't get all of the things that I wanted. Um, you know, I was telling y'all about the boots that I wanted to get or whatever from the soul from Steve Madden in the day and wind up buying the boots as soon as I walked in the store with her feelings. I just had to wear the same shoes and two of the outfits, which is not what I wanted to do, but it is what it is. When I get home today after the graduation, I have to go on home. Well, not study. I have to go take a test. On my nutrition class that I'm taking online, I have a test due tonight by 11.59, but you know, as soon as I get back from the graduation, I'm going to do that and get that over with. The life of a worker, my present wife, and student trying to get in nursing school. To all the daily vloggers, I really give my props to y'all. Cause let me tell you, I don't do enough stuff in a day to daily vlog. Like my daily vlogs would definitely just be talking. Somebody was like, "You should vlog." I want to vlog eventually, but with the schedule that I have and work, you know, it's not really enough time in a day to really vlog because I mean literally I will be vlogging me going to work on my lunch break taking the exercise oh that's something else so last week I ain't gonna lie y'all I've been slacking on my working out I have not worked out none last week I have not been eating good I've been eating fried okra again y'all know I have an addiction of fried okra I've been eating fried okra 
and I've just been doing that. But this week, I said I'm gonna change that. I ain't gonna keep on doing the wrong thing because I really do need to lose this week. I haven't been taking my weight loss pills, I just been slacking. That's not good. It's not good at all. But I ain't gonna give up on myself. With my weight loss, you know. Like, it's so easy to just give up on, like, trying to lose weight and stuff. Because it's so easy to just eat what you like to eat. And not exercise and chill. Like, that's easy. But actually, like, not eating, like, the things that you used to eat or, like, that you like to eat. And working out, going to the gym. But not even just going to the gym, just working out, walking and whatever. Like, that's the hard part. Having that willpower to know, okay, I'm not going to eat that because I know that's too many calories. I'm not going to eat that because I know that that's going to store fat in my body. Like, I'm not going to eat that because I know it's too much sugar. That's the hard part. And I was doing so good. But, I mean, I really don't have no excuse. It's just, when you doing a million and one things, and, you know, you got to go here, go there. You don't really be having time to cook food, man. Like, me, I don't really like eating leftover food too much. Like, I eat leftovers, don't get me wrong, but I don't really like eating leftovers. So, prepping food. Ahead of time, just it's kind of like pointless for me because I don't really like eating leftovers or like the same thing over and over again. Like, I don't like that. Hmm. Who has time to cook fresh food every day? Well, I mean, I could cook fresh food every day, but I ain't gonna be the most healthiest thing. I like pasta. I like rice. And most of my meals consist of pasta and rice. And it's just being real. And I be trying to cook like other stuff. But that shit. It ain't nothing like some fried okra, okay? Let's just be honest. But it is what it is. Now I'm gonna left my whole eyeshadow thing in my room. I'll be back. But yeah, y'all. Y'all gonna like my video shoot. Y'all, I like it. Because I like it. It was the bomb. So I can The only thing is, y'all, let me tell you. I was stiff as a mug. And I don't know why I was stiff. I mean, it wasn't like I was nervous or nothing like that. It's just, I looked like I was doing a mannequin challenge. <laughs> I looked like I was doing deep fucking mannequin challenge. And... I mean, it is what it is, but I feel like I still looked cute, and I feel like the video came out good so far from what I saw. So, I'm impressed. I'm proud of myself. I had a dang on nervous breakdown. Right before that, but man, it be like that sometimes. All right, y'all, I'm about to finish getting ready and I'll check in back with you guys once I'm done.
you expensive, you know that? I'm high maintenance a little bit, but not in a, not in a negative way. Hey, Mom, I just like extremely expensive things. Hey, you guys. Yes, so I'm just leaving the um, visit for graduation. And it was so nice. Like, we had so much fun. And I'm glad that I was able to come see my baby graduate and everything. Um, He looked so handsome. And he has a nice haircut. He already got his real diploma. Like when he first got his, um, you know, high school diploma or whatever. So they gave him that thing. So he said he just gonna mail it to me so that I can um put it in a frame or whatever. But yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, me and Hayden probably about to go get something to eat. I don't know if I really feel like stopping to get something to eat, but you know, whatever. And then I gotta go home, take a test for school, and that's pretty much all I'm doing today. And get ready for work tomorrow. But that's about it. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and let y'all know that the graduation was pretty nice and everything was nice. They had some guest speakers. It was like a real graduation. And they had like some people that was graduating like college, like in their associate's degree and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool too, you know. So I'm glad that this, you know, jail office those type of opportunities to the inmates because I know a lot of jails that don't even offer that or barely even let them take educational courses so you know just to have the opportunity of taking educational courses and also to be able to graduate from college like while you're in prison is pretty awesome so now it's on to the next step for my husband and we're gonna see where this journey takes us you know so I'll see you guys in a few yeah, you guys. Also, Hayden wanted me to let y'all know to please check out his channel. His link is going to be in the description box below. Thank you. Talk like it bet it all on me. Yeah. And you can't take no L's off me. I know you been working, 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 ain't ya? You don't have no time to lay up. You just trying to be somebody For you say you need somebody Get all your affairs in order I won't have affairs, I'm yours, girl Faithful, 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 faithful